All right, so this is called how to get your animation from Max into Create without exporting. So I have a model here of a Black Hawk helicopter, specially outfitted for um, Navy use. And uh, you can see it has a bunch of helpers there. So I've exported that um, helicopter and mesh to Omniverse. Uh, and then I went and I exported just the controls to Omniverse. And you can see here that I've taken the root of the helicopter and I've created a spline animation, just simple path animation with a little extra rotations on it, no big deal. Um, and I, But I exported that without any animation to USD. So then I come over to my layer tab. I add my first USD with the geometry as a layer. And then I'm gonna add my control layer here uh, as a layer sitting above my mesh layer, which is why the mesh disappeared because the uh, the helicopter um, is at its zero position. And so it's way out there at the end of the line. You'll see it here in a second uh, when I add a, uh, a dome light here to the stage so we can see something and maybe take it down a couple notches. There we go. Oh, it's right here at the beginning I lied. Anyway, I'm gonna live sync the control layer and my max scene is already live synced so now when i scrub the timeline in 3ds max you're going to see it update there in um in create and i can adjust the the path all i want in max and those changes will be reflected uh in create which is pretty cool and boom there it lands okay so now i want to uh, maybe add a plane so it can land on something, there you go. And now I'm gonna record this animation inside of uh, Create. And I do that with the Omni Recorder, which can be found in your um, extensions. Here I'm just uh, playing through the timeline here just to prove once again that uh, it's playing one-to-one. -one. Okay, so let's, uh, let's record this. So first thing I need to do is select the parent of everything I want to animate, which is gonna be, yeah, just the parent node of the helicopter controls. Um, I'm going to press record selection, I'm going to set my time, and then I press play to start recording, and then I press play on the 3DS Max timeline, so it starts playing, and now everything that's happening in Create with this mesh is being recorded inside the session. So here it comes, and... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 2, 1... We land. All right. Cool. So I stop the playback. I stop the recording. And don't worry about that overridden error message. I just need to set my timeline back to 2400. And you can see now my animation is playing inside Create um, and not inside Max, which is exactly what I want. That's uh, the quick and dirty way to get your animation from 3ds Max into Create uh, without having to export to FBX. Thanks.